Hydroxychloroquine, the brand name Plaquenil, is a medication that scientists are testing, saying it might help COVID-19 patients, a medication that's already proven to help lupus patients like Judy Sovey. We need hydroxychloroquine just to function to have something close to a normal life. Many of them will have to go to the hospital and some will die without this medication. And because it might help COVID patients, everyone wants their hands on it, trying to get prescriptions just in case, hoarding it. So now people with lupus can't find the medication they depend on. It's supposed to be in the next day, then the next day. And finally it was like, it's back ordered. We don't know when we'll get it. A lot of people were just not able to get it at all. My sister was checking pharmacies in Texas. That's how desperate we were getting. We are constantly calling pharmacies all over trying to find someone that has it and uh, it's it's being replenished every day at different places so it's a game it's like a shell match game and this shortage in our state has actually gotten so bad that people with lupus are actually starting to ration their medication I started cutting back to a half dose I definitely felt the effects of it I was just exhausted. But not taking the medication as prescribed, or not at all, could lead to much worse than exhaustion. Lupus kills. It kills people all the time. We just lost a gal last week. The Michigan Lupus Foundation believes there's enough of the drug, but a bad allocation problem. And have teamed up with other foundations to write a letter to Vice President Pence and the COVID-19 task force asking for help. To make sure there's enough for our lupus patients to continue to survive. I certainly appreciated their willingness to get involved, but we need something a step beyond a letter in order to really make it happen. Scott Walchek, WNEM, TV5.